Hey guys, Game Prime here with another unboxing. Today we have The Last of Us Part 1 Firefly Edition from Sony themselves. I got it from uh, direct.playstation.com. I got this thing right when it went up in June. I think they put more quantities up today and I heard that they were a little, uh, little bit of a pain to get a hold of. So as a huge Last of Us fan and a huge Last of Us collector. I'm so happy to be able to get this thing pre-ordered and put into my ever-growing Last of Us collection. So we're just gonna open this right here. And I'm also happy that they shipped it in a box because I saw on Twitter today that some people got this shipped in like a bubble mailer and that the whole thing was kind of damaged and ruined. So the fact that they Ship this in a box. Makes me very happy. If I could get this open, that would be great. <laughs> Let's see, we got everything in here. We got my invoice, which I ain't gonna show. This, uh, PlayStation Void Fill Paper. That's cute. That's cool. And finally... Wow. And it's in good shape, too. Look at that. The Firefly Edition. This thing's bigger than I thought it would be. Cool. So how the hell do I open this? Because this doesn't look like anything that I've opened before. So it has, like... Tabs on the top there, tabs on the side. Very nice spining, so you could put it spine first if you want to. Yeah, let's uh, get into that. There's nothing else in the box. Chuck that over there. Very carefully. seal on that. I don't even think I broke the seal on that. Just a little nerve-wracking. Okay, now, now, now we're in business. Open that up. Nice steel book. I forgot that I'm getting a steel book right there. That's beautiful. I love that. Love the the spores. I guess they're yeah. I guess they're spores. They're they're glowing. It's a beautiful steel book case. That code's not going to pop out right there, is it now? Last of Us Part 1, and then I get the early in-lock of everything. Let's see if there's anything else. I'm surprised they, they didn't give me stickers. They they usually give me stickers with <laughs> Naughty Dog games. That's beautiful right there. Put that to the side, and then in here, I'm guessing is all of our good stuff. And there's more tape here. It looks like the tape's very easy to get off too, so if you're a collector like me and hate tape, that's that's good news that it's not gonna rip the the packaging or whatever. So that's cool. That's good news. Yeah. That that comes off very, very nicely. They did something good. I don't think there's anything in that and there. That's very much just the game itself. Here, I'll put that right there for now. Right there. That's gonna need more cutting. Could probably just take the tape off by itself. That's probably no problem at all. There 
the rest of the tape. And here is the fun stuff. The entire collection of The Last of Us American Dreams comic, which I, uh, yeah, it's all in a thing here. I'm, I am definitely opening this up right now. Let me see if I could just can I do it from the side or is it going to butcher it? That is the best, that's the best way for me to open this, probably just get this right through there. Ne I never got the other, uh, the big physical book of American Dreams, it's always been something that I've wanted to read and, and experience. A nice little card there with all four issues, and here we go. Issue one, issue two, issue three, issue four, and the backing. Let's just take a look at at least the first issue. And these are like prequel, prequel um, comics written by Neil Druckmann himself. I believe this uh, chronicles Ellie and potentially Riley? Yeah, Riley's right there. Cool. Very, very excited to finally read these. But yeah, I think that is pretty much it. Got that there. Uh, right there and yeah there's nothing else in here so I'm just gonna take that and put them back in once again there's the nice insert with all four covers one featuring Ellie Ellie Riley uh, infected of some sort I don't think it's a clicker it might just be a runner and I believe that looks like Marlene so there's that beautiful comic collection set right there. Cool. They even include a tab right in the right in the middle here so you could open it easily and then finally as I turn my PlayStation 5 on real quick I do want to compare something because I also am a crazy Last of Us collector and I got the standard version of Last of Us Part 1 last night because it was an early release and I could play the game early and you all know I can and will do that so there's the insert there I did just want to compare the the discs because I know sometimes Naughty Dog does different discs for their games just want to take a look real quick that's this is the disc from the standard version. If you could focus, that would be nice. If not, oh well. Then that's the disc from the Firefly Edition. So it is the same disc. If anybody was wondering, I'm glad I could kind of confirm confirm there. But yeah, that is going to be it for me this time, guys. If you like the unboxing, give it a thumbs up. I am so, so happy that this game got like a, a cool collector's edition to go with it because I'm a gigantic Last of Us collector. I have every special and collector's edition of the games aside from the first game itself because I didn't know how big the game would be and turn out to, you know, be a huge success for Sony and, you know, stuff like that. So, get a nice zoom in there as I use my friend's camera for this and 
there we go. So, yeah, that's going to be it for me. If you guys like the unboxing, give it a thumbs up. I know it's a little janky because I'm doing it on my chair here, but still wanted to unbox this for you guys because it is an awesome collector's edition, and I'm just happy to have it in my collection. So, thanks for watching. Give the video a thumbs up. Check out my unboxing for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Cowabunga Collection. It'll be in the end slate somewhere. And subscribe for more in the future. I will see you guys very soon. Thanks for watching.